Hey guys, Umongus Animation here, coming on you with another update video for my Minecraft mod called Survival in the Wild for version 1.6. So the last update video from this channel contained this update called More Weapons, where I added many different weapons into the mod. But I've made several more updates ever since. See, I've made the more weapons re-update. I've made the hogs update. The buffalo update. The Uzi update. And lastly, the balance update. Anyways, this information can be found on my website whose link will be in the description so that you can see more specific detailed info about each update. But I'll just read this first one. So in the more weapons re-update, I changed the assault rifle so that it's now automatic firing. I also added a micro pistol, flare gun, and partially added three types of hogs, which were the ones that came to be in the hogs update. And now hogs come in 11 different sp sprites. But uh, first off, we're just gonna create a new creative mode world in Minecraft, so I can show the, the Minecraft mod visually. All right, so now we've created a new world in creative mode. The first update I will show is the more weapons re-update. So first I added a micro pistol which uses micro pistol ammo and its crafting recipes which it has multiple of can be found on my website and again the link will be in the description. So here's the micro pistol. It, uh, it lacks in firepower and range. As you can see, it's very affected by gravity. And I also added the flare gun, which uses flares as ammo. have a bit of wind up. Anything that gets hit by it gets set on fire. Well the micro pistol used to do 7 damage before the balance update but now it only deals 5 to make up for the high abundance of micro pistol ammo. The flare gun does about 9 or 8 damage. It sets enemies on fire, which would be a good thing if you're trying to make them drop cooked meat. And lastly, me making the assault rifle into an automatic weapon. <laughs> well, even though here's the thing, it, it wouldn't deal much damage to a uh, single enemies because of the temporary and invincibility that each enemy gets after they've been hit. For example, yeah, see it takes a while, so this would be more advisable to use against a large crowd of enemies. Mm -hmm. 
Oh look, the uh, piglet. Which now brings us to the hog update. So I've added three more types of feral hogs. There's the feral piglet, which you just saw, the armored feral hog, and the feral genetically modified hog, which is a boss. So the hog update. Now remember the uh, creature called the feral hog, which originally was called the wild boar, but now in the hog update, now they come in many different sprites. Yeah, they can spawn as piglets, they can spawn as uh, adult boar, coming in many different colors and textures. They can also spawn as armored boar. Yeah, got the sound effect. Yeah, armored ones can come in different colors too. And they can also come as a boss. Called the feral genetically modified hog. Now these creatures are all dangerous. And you'll see it here. Now they're all coming after me. Whoa. They also spawn in groups. Well, that didn't go well. Well, the groups they spawned in wouldn't be that big though. But it still has many pigs. You can also spawn each individual type of pig. Well, except for the piglet, because uh, the, the piglet is the one that transforms into the other types. Just like this. You can also summon the regular boars, which is just called boar in this case. Also, some are the, the armored one. And also the boss one. Alright, next up is the Buffalo update called version 2.5 and now I've made it so that all the pistols except for the heavy pistol is now semi-auto which means they fire as rapidly as you click. Also now all buffaloes are neutral which means they won't attack unless attacked first and the reason for that is because buffaloes used to be OP in this Minecraft mod because they could pretty much just spawn camp you because of their really fast running speed and their high damage and high health. But now buffaloes don't attack zombies anymore. And now I've officially added more types of buffaloes, which I will show right here. 
There are five different regular buffaloes that can be spawned from spawn eggs. Now first there's the water buffalo. They spawn in watery biomes, just like the crocodiles and the hippos. And they look just like the uh, original buffalo. And also now, all buffaloes are neutral, so they won't attack unless attacked first. And uh, I'll show you it in this. See, they're not coming after me, but now when I shoot it, now they're all chasing me. Mm. There's a good reason for me making them neutral now. Back when they were uh, hostile, they, they could spawn camp you because of how fast they move and how much damage they dealt in their health. So they were pretty much OP. And here's the next type of buffalo called the, the Yak Buffalo. They spawn in extreme hills, icy biomes, and snowy biomes. They look like this. And uh, on my website you can find statistics about each of the different types of buffaloes. Next here's the bison buffalo. Oh. The reddish in color with the dark colored face. They spawn in most of the biomes, including ice and snow. Individually, they're the least dangerous of them all, but they're the most common. And one good use out of these buffaloes is if a skeleton or a bullet bot is attacking you, then you can make the skeleton accidentally shoot an arrow at the buffalo, and then the buffalo goes after the skeleton. Next, the Cape Buffalo. They look like this. Oh. And they're the most dangerous buffalo of them all. They move the fastest, they deal the most damage, and they have an extremely long follow range. They also never spawn alone, but they spawn in pairs. And they spawn in many of the overworld biomes, except for snow and ice and watery biomes. So are kind of the same ones often spawn on. And then the Gaur Buffalo, they spawn in the same places that these guys spawn in. Except these ones are more rare, they're bigger. And they have more health. And as I repeat, you can find more statistics about the amount of health, damage, and speed of these creatures in my website. And then, there's the buffalo box called Mega Buffalo in this case. Resident's name will come up as Mutant Buffalo. It's huge. It's even bigger than an elephant. Now it has the same super long follow range as a cape buffalo. And 
out of all bosses, this is the only one that's neutral. And that which is a good thing, because otherwise this thing will annihilate you every time. It has as much health as the Reptilian Titan 120. No, like, that's really something. It deals 14 damage. It moves about as fast as the uh, water buffalo. Well, actually, now I've. In the balance update, I've made it move as fast as the Cape Buffalo. So now this thing is practically a Cape Buffalo on steroids. So now, on to the next update, the Uzi update, version 2.6. In this update, I added five new guns, the Uzi, Mini Uzi, Micro Uzi, Submachine Gun, and Mega Pistol. Well, first there's the Micro Uzi, which uses Micro Pistol Ammo. It fires a little more powerfully than its Micro Pistol counterpart, dealing 6 damage and having slightly longer range. And then there's the Mini Uzi, which uses mini pistol ammo and deals 9 damage while the mini pistol now deals 8 damage and then there's the Uzi dealing 12 damage and using pistol ammo yeah in case you remember the uh, texture mismatch, which happens with the more powerful weapons. Next up is the, uh, the submachine gun, which uses submachine ammo. It deals 14 damage. Well, by comparison, the assault rifle deals 17 damage. Also, the assault rifle shots are not affected by gravity. Well, and then lastly is the Mega Pistol, which uses Mega Pistol ammo. And it deals 30 damage. Well, that's enough of that. Okay, and then the last update that I made, the balance update. Minor updates and changes to the balance of the game. Changing the values of some weapons. Change some crafting result amounts. I also added two new creatures. Uh, so the balance update, which I've changed the damage values of some of these spears. And I've also up updated the damage values on my website but uh i took out the old damage values because uh if you have an older version installed you could just see the uh, 
amount of damage by going in creative mode and hovering over them. One example is that I've nerfed the stone spears. Now this thing used to do about 22 damage, but uh, I figured because of how easy it is to find cobblestone, uh, yeah, it, it should have been less powerful, so that it would take at least two hits to take down a zombie. And that it would require a more precious material if you want more weapon power. And also I've added a few new creatures, as I've mentioned. So first, now there are two types of elephants. There's the African elephant and the Indian elephant. Well, the African elephant is a rebranding of the original elephant in this game. I mean in this, in the mod of this game. In this mod. Well. So the African elephant is just a rebranding of the original elephant that was in this mod of Minecraft. And uh, yeah, it's just like the old one. It attacks zombies. Well, which also means it attacks zombie pigmen. <laughs> Yeah, well, it also targets the player, which is shown on my website, what the enemies target. My website shows which entities each creature in this mod targets. And then there's the Indian elephant. Same behavior as the African elephant, but it's more rare. And it's a little smaller, has a little less health, and deals less damage. Uh, slightly different in color, and its tusks are yellowish. So you have African Elephant, which is this one, and an Indian Elephant, which is this one. It has 70 health, deals about 6 or 7 damage, moves at the same speed as the other one. And then, well, remember earlier I rebranded the crocodiles and now they, they're named alligators. As you can see, you probably remember from older videos, but now I've added a crocodile. These ones are way bigger, they make a different sound. They have 60 health and deal 11 damage or 13 damage. And they make a really scary sound when they chase you. And part of the balancing update, I also made the light rifle and the heavy pistol slightly faster firing oh, it's that scary sound also some of these 
creatures have different sound effects now. For example, the elephants now make the same noise that ghasts make. That's all I have to show for this Minecraft mod. I don't really have... I'm kind of running out of ideas for what to do for this Minecraft mod. But uh, there are two other things that are also going on. One, I've been working on my next episode of The Shining Star. And now that I've mastered the program Pivot Animator, I can make cartoons. And I'll show you a bit of a preview at the very end of this video. The other thing we have going on is uh, this game that I've been developing using Unity. And it's supposed to be a, f a fan game of this game called Alien Shooter which is by Sigma Team. And, and my fan game of it is a first-person shooter version. Uh, so far I have seven levels built. Uh, all I have left is to build the remaining three levels. But I'm also going to have to create you know, a, type, a boss type enemy and also create some more enemy types that I haven't done yet. Anyways, here's the preview of the next episode of my series, which will also show the future content you'll see on this channel as far as animation-wise. <laughs>